Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I want to introduce you to my 1976 Airstream Sovereign. Four years ago my wife and I decided we wanted to buy and renovate an Airstream trailer. After searching online for a few months we found one in North Carolina that we wanted to buy. With the help of my brother we drove 64 hours non-stop there and back to bring the trailer back to Utah. We had some bumps along the way but by the time we got the trailer back this is what it looked like. The first thing we did was rip everything out, and I mean everything. I took the shell off the trailer frame so I could remove any rust, clean it up, and reinforce it. After the frame was clean and the tanks were clean and reinstalled, I put the shell back on the trailer. I put new heavier duty axles on the trailer to support the weight of the batteries that I was going to use for solar. I also installed 8 flexible solar panels on the top of the trailer. Next I installed weather sealed plywood to prevent it from rotting out like the last floor did. With the help of my dad, I got all the wiring done for the solar power. Once all the electrical was done, I re-insulated the trailer and reinstalled the original walls. We wanted the trailer to have a newer, brighter feel, so we painted the walls white. As you can imagine, the project took quite a while, and along the way, we had our first baby. We installed a dark wood flooring in the whole trailer. I added 25 LED lights to brighten the place up. Next, I started working on the cabinets and walls. I built a king size bed slash storage area in the back. With the bedroom done, I started working on the bathroom and shower. In the front of the trailer, I built the dining area. I built storage under the benches as well. We built the cabinets, drawers, countertops, and tabletop next. With those installed, the inside was just about done. The last thing I did was restore and polish the outside, which took forever. So here's the finished product. We originally planned to live in it, but now with two kids, we just want to use it as much as we can to travel. We installed the combination oven slash microwave oven to accomplish our cooking needs and save on space. In the countertop, we installed a two burner induction cooktop. My wife and I both love walnut countertops, so that's what we went with. We put in a deep, full-size farmhouse kitchen sink so that we could bathe our kids in it. We chose stainless steel appliances for a clean, minimalist look. You can see here the storage under the full king size bed. We made it so the table in the front can collapse to make another bed. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks a ton for watching.